Hello. Today I want to talk about thyroid and adrenals. I've been a special guest in a lot of groups where I take questions and troubleshoot with people and I've noticed a lot of questions around thyroid and adrenal issues. So I want to put these in a video to hopefully help someone out there or a couple people. So thyroid and adrenal issues can often be very similar. Both of them encompass chronic fatigue. Adrenals, you're going to see more weakness, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, low blood pressure. That is adrenal. <clears throat> you're going to see cortisol issues. So, you know, maybe you're waking up between 2 and 4 a.m. That's definitely an adrenal issue, cortisol issue. Thyroid, you'll see more intolerance to cold, hair falling out, changes in your nails, changes in your menstrual cycle, putting on weight or losing weight if you have hyperthyroid. Those are thyroid issues. And then for both of them, you'll have chronic fatigue for sure. Some labs that you can do to confirm either one. I don't work with labs. I don't require them, but it is nice to have a confirmed diagnosis. So for thyroid, you want to do a full thyroid panel. Most doctors will just do TSH. That is not enough to say much about your thyroid. It is not enough. So a full thyroid panel, TSH, T4, free T3, reverse T3, and antibodies. For adrenals, I would recommend doing the ACTH stimulation test. This is adrenocorticotropic hormone. It's measuring how your adrenals respond to it. So they will be injecting a synthesized hormone and seeing how your adrenals respond to it. That is a very good test. Another good one for the adrenals is an insulin tolerance test. This is basically provoking hypoglycemia, seeing how your body responds, if it responds properly. Many doctors are not comfortable doing this test, but it is a pretty good one for your adrenals. So those are two different tests you could do. Now, what do you do to address these issues? Adrenals need fat. You need saturated fat to heal your adrenals, number one. So if you're not eating enough fat, now's your time. Thyroid needs sufficient protein. There was a time when I was healing my thyroid before I knew it, and I was craving more protein than I knew I technically needed, and I could not go to sleep unless I had more protein. It was such an obvious desire for protein, not just food and gen not just meat in general, but protein. And so I just stuck with it, ate more protein than I knew I needed. That lasted for about two months. And then right after that was when I reversed my hypothyroidism. This happens with clients that I work with who are healing their thyroids as well. You need sufficient protein. One gram of protein per pound of desired body weight is my general recommendation. The bare minimum is 0.8 times your lean body mass. Thyroid also needs enough fat. If you're not eating carbs, fat is your primary fuel source, so you don't want to starve the fat. Be sure that you're eating enough protein and fat. If you are not sure what the optimal fat to protein ratio is for your body, I have a video on that which should help you troubleshoot. Thyroid also requires certain nutrients, basically. So iodine, zinc, and selenium are the main ones that your thyroid needs. Be sure you're getting those. You should be getting sufficient selenium from a carnivore diet. You only need a tiny little amount. I personally recommend taking iodine. You want to dose it properly. I have an iodine protocol on my Instagram. I'll share it here as well. Just be careful if you have Hashimoto's, don't go too fast with the iodine. I would even start with kelp instead of lugols at a very small micro dose. And this is not a recommendation, this is just an idea. And if you are looking for a specific recommendation, please do reach out for coaching. It is very important to go slowly with iodine if you have thyroid issues. But that can be a total game changer. And then for your adrenals, you also just need to focus on external factors. It beyond food, you know, you need animal foods to heal your adrenals, especially the fat. But then beyond that, focus on your stress, focus on anything in your environment that's toxic or draining you causing you to wake up in the middle of the night, causing your cortisol to be imbalanced, it needs to be addressed. That's really equally as important as food is medicine. So this was just a short breakdown of thyroid and adrenal issues and some of the questions I've gotten, labs you can run, symptoms, and what to do about it. I hope this helps someone out there at least to get on the right track. If you're looking for more bio-individual recommendations, I can help you with that, but I will need to troubleshoot with you. I need to know so much more about you to make a recommendation. And I say that a lot in questions and comments that I receive because I can only offer so much information for someone I don't even know yet. 
You know, this is just the foundational information. Beyond that, you have bio-individual needs and I would be happy to help you troubleshoot with that.